Hi, I'm Melanie Carr, Life Coach. How can deep erotic focus and the idea of being in the now create a connection between the emotional body, the mental body and the heart center? When we start incorporating our creative and our erotic, um, creative and intention into our energetic system, we are not just talking now about focusing and being the now, um, thinking along the lines of the teachings of Eckhart Tolle and how we're learning to use the mental faculties to create more presence in this moment. How by adding a little bit more of our energy from our body, from our sexual energy into the combination of being in this moment focused right now and the practice of having a deeper more focused erotic connection in our lives. How, as we combine this in being in the now and creating with the universe, using the mental faculty in the heart center, using the emotional body energy as a motor or a, a place where we can find that sun energy, that earthy energy, part of the lack of energy I'm seeing with people that are living a life in the spiritual community um, who are studying personal growth and want to create in their lives a more abundant and energetic and have their life mission and all this flowing together. And I'm finding that sometimes we're missing a little bit of this more earthy, more earth connected and sexual energy in our spiritual practice. And I think the reason that's happening is because we are going off into the fourth and fifth dimension, uh, realities, uh, dreaming, lucid dreaming, meditation, all these things. And very few people are talking about or adding in to their spiritual practice, the practice of incorporating their physical, uh, emotional and sexual energy into the creation, into their lives to create a balance. If we're all meditation and spiritual energy, um, we're not drawing from that more powerful creative source. So part of the difficult um, focus that needs to ha happen in our lives with being in the power of now and having that um, presence and the feeling of your cells in your body. And if we incorporate into that also the presence of our creative sexual energy as well, we can join. It becomes kind of like the Holy Trinity. We have the, the Trinity in in the Bible and people talk about um, the Trinity in many different areas in spirituality and what happens with the Trinity of physical, sexual, emotional, heart center and the energy of the mind and the creative thought process, the imaginative faculty being able to be dropped into the heart center, the heart center being able to be expanded by the sun energy of our of our creative erotic and this deep focus in our lives for what we want to create, what we're visualizing, what we're sending out into the universe. So we create this sort of bubble around us of this incredible energy that we start to generate in our lives. And we glow and we look amazing. And we, and we get up in the morning and we're so ready to just get up and go and we already have a, a list of what we have to do and people feel attracted to us and our lives things flow with with this synergy in the in the universe 
with the people around us and we attract people on a higher frequency of vibration and I believe that a lot of people are missing this this more um, you know add that physical dense sexual creative energy into their lives bring it up into the heart center you know move it away from the sexual and more into the creative more abundant erotic energy that we've been talking about in this podcast and in these videos here on youtube and use your mind to create your inner feelings emotions thoughts the heart connection because you're always feeling something you're always thinking something so what happens if little by little we start to energize the thoughts we start to energize and create feelings that have this amazing sun energy in our bodies and bring that up into our heart center and then try being in the now and with that deep deep connection you might find a little bit easier to stay present to have energy to focus to focus on what you want to create in your life there are some really really good mm, meditation practices um, I highly recommend the Silva method that Vishen Lakiani is putting out on Mind Valley. Really, really um, fast. This, the, you know, the three, two, one. It's just really, really a fast way to get yourself right there into that relaxed focus. But let's add, let's add that creative. It's coming like a new energetic pattern that you want to have that deep erotic focus that you're adding into your life, and it just makes. It makes your cells vibrate on a higher vibration as you start learning to use your energy of your body you become a, a way more um, powerful spiritual being not this floating spiritual light energy being but this being of light that has this more powerful energy and deeper focus and more abundant and more erotic and this would be mm, one of the reasons that you might inspire yourself to try this because not everyone is at the place in their life where they're interested in working on their sexuality and taking it to a more spiritual level but if it has this amazing ability to transform your focus your presence and the energy that you create in your life, then you have a really good reason to try. Um, I'm starting to recommend that people try like the three to one kind of idea, have three normal physical experiences. And then when you're a little more tired or you have days where, you know, you might not even think about having a sexual experience in that moment, try to generate a little bit of sexual energy in your body and then breathe and move it to the heart center and start to use the energy and you might find that a day that you were totally exhausted all of a sudden became a wonderful motivated day with excellent energy so you can use it it's your your emotional body and your sexual energy is your motor for the energy that of your life force to flow you can also draw energy from around you you can draw energy from the planet from the universe from people around you but our our basic connection would be like a plant drawing the sunlight and drawing the water and the elements from the earth a lot of people in the spiritual community are drawing a lot of sunlight but they're not using the water and the nutrients from the earth or they're or they're more earthy Mm, female um, more physical uh, sexual energy to combine with their spirituality and become more present in the now in a much more charged and in a deep erotic focus let me know what you think <laughs>